Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, let's make a Puerto Rican style corn beef. So let's get into it. All right, so today we're gonna to be making Puerto Rican style corn beef, which is essentially Puerto Rican style corn beef hash. So this is a canned corn beef that I'll be using. Feel free to use any brand you prefer. All right, so I have my pan here. This is a 12 inch pan. I have it set over medium heat and I like to hover my hand over it to check if it's hot enough. And then I'm gonna add a good amount of extra virgin olive oil. Um, I love Puerto Rican style corned beef because it's just such an easy, quick dinner. It's so easy to put together, especially tonight. It's currently a Tuesday. My kids are home from school. My hubby is home from work and I just got busy doing a million things. So um, yeah, I just want to make something quick and tasty. So here I'm going to add about a tablespoon and a half of sofrito, about two tablespoons of tomato sauce. I added about a quarter of a cup of chopped red peppers. And then I'm gonna add like a heaping tablespoon of alcaparado. Alcaparado is pitted olives and capers. So they're just pickled pitted olives and capers and they have pimientos in them too. But you can use regular Spanish style olives, that's fine too. And then I'm gonna add about two minced garlic cloves you can use garlic powder if you don't have a fresh garlic that's fine too then i'm just going to give everything a good little mix so the good thing about this dinner is that it comes together super quickly i want to say it takes about like half an hour from start to finish and that even includes like the white rice that i made on the side and the plantains and i'll show you that later so i gave everything a nice stir and then I'm going to go ahead and add some of my spices. Now, the good thing about this recipe is it's very versatile, so you can play around with the spices if you like. I'm going to add a little bit of dried oregano leaves. Uh, I say about a quarter of a teaspoon or so. And then I'm going to add one packet of some sazón with anato and culantro. Um, however, if you don't want to use sazón, you can also use anato powder. If you don't have anato powder, a good substitute is a little bit of paprika. You can even use a little bit of smoked paprika, which is really good. I think that'll go really, really good with this dish. So I'm going to give everything a good stir to combine. gonna saute everything up until it's nice and fragrant again I have my heat set to medium or like a little below medium not too high and now I'm gonna go ahead and add the canned corned beef and obviously this is not something that you're gonna eat on a regular basis this is one of those meals that are really good to do when you're in a pinch when you're short on time when you have like just a couple of staple ingredients and you can whip this up together really easily the best part about this dish is if you do not live near a grocery store that sells like traditional puerto rican ingredients you can still make this. Even if you don't have something like Goya Sazon, you can just substitute it with some paprika or some ground annatto. If you don't have sofrito, I do have two videos on my channel on how to make sofrito, and that includes a very basic sofrito recipe using ingredients that you can find anywhere. So after I gave my corned beef a nice chop and mixed it with the ingredients, I'm going to continue adding the rest of my ingredients. So I'm gonna add about a third of a cup of some corn kernels, and then I'm gonna add one medium diced and peeled potato. This is a yellow potato. You can use any potato you prefer. Again, this recipe is super versatile. You can even add like frozen mixed vegetables. Um, carrots whatever you like even mushrooms will work really well too and then I ended up adding about almost a cup of water about three quarters of a cup to a cup of water you just eyeball it you do not want it to be like super soupy but you want it to look nice and juicy either way while this cooks the water is going to evaporate so it'll be fine even if you added a little too much water that's okay 
So I'm using a clean spoon and I'm gonna give it a quick taste test for salt and spices. FYI, the corned beef is pre-cooked, so I don't have to worry about that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add some all-purpose seasoning. This is my favorite all-purpose seasoning. This is the Lori's Casero um, Total Seasoning. And yeah, so I'm gonna add about three quarters of a teaspoon or so but of course you add however much you want if you do not have the Loris Casero obviously you can use adobo or any all-purpose seasoning of your choice all right and finally that is all for my seasonings I'm going to mix everything up really really well and remember the heat is currently on medium I'm then going to set my heat between medium and low and then I'm gonna cover my pan and I'm gonna let it cook until my potatoes are nice and tender and after about 20 minutes my Puerto Rican corned beef hash is done and it came out incredible like the flavors were spot on and the best part about this dish is it's super easy and anyone can make it and also my family loved it including my son who normally doesn't eat a whole lot at dinner time he actually got up and got seconds after he was done that's how good it was and just like that my puerto rican week night dinner came together in under an hour. I also ended up making some white rice and some sweet ripe plantains. And if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I truly appreciate your support. If you have not already, please be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. It helps my channel a ton and be sure to hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys next time.